Measuring in centimeters and meters. Measuring in centimeters. Centimeters are part of the metric system. The abbreviation for centimeter is CM. A fingernail is about one centimeter wide, as illustrated in this picture. We measure centimeters with a ruler. Step one, make sure the ruler has centimeters on the top. Number two, place the object above the ruler. Step three, line up the end of the object to the zero mark on the ruler. Step four, place your finger at the other end of the object to see which number is close to it on the ruler. Step five, label your measurement. Here you see a practical illustration of all five steps. You want to make sure the centimeters is on top as indicated right here. We place our object, in this case the line, on top of the ruler above it. We line up the object on the zero mark on the ruler. We place our finger, or in my case the pencil, on the other end of the object to see what number is close to it on the ruler, which is 11, and then we label the object 11 centimeters. Let's practice by determining how long is the foot, and we're referring to the picture of this foot right here. So step one, we want to make sure the ruler has centimeters on top, as indicated right here. Step two, we place the object on top of the ruler. So the graphic or picture of this foot is on top of the ruler. Step three, we want to line up the zero mark of the ruler. So I'm going to uh, make sure this heel is lined up with the zero mark of the ruler. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to add a line. So we are lined up with the zero mark right here, with the end of the graphic. The next part is I'm going to place my finger, or in this case I'm going to use the pen, at the end of the object to see which number is closest. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to illustrate that with a line. So it looks like the number that is closest is the number 9, which takes us to step 5. We label the measurement, and we see that the measurement is 9 centimeters. Here's another opportunity for us to practice. How long is the ant? So step 1, we want to make sure the ruler has centimeters on top, and that is the case here. Step 2, place the object on top of the ruler. Step 3, we want to line up the object so that the, the beginning of the object lines up with the zero mark on the ruler. Step 4, place your finger at the end of the object to see which number is closest. I'll use a line to illustrate that. And we can see right here that it's closest to the number 5. So we label our measurement 5 centimeters. Practice. How long is the pencil? Our first step is to make sure that the ruler is facing so that centimeters is on top, as I'm indicating right here. Our next step is we place the object on top of the ruler. Third, we line up the end of the object to the zero mark of the ruler, as indicated by this line right here. Step four, place your pencil at the end of the object to see which number is closest. Using the line, I see that it's closest to the number 20, so this pencil is 20 centimeters. So finally, what we do is we label the object 20 centimeters. Meters. To measure something a little larger in metric units, use meters. The abbreviation for meter is M. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. This is the graphic of a meter stick. What are some objects we can measure using meters? Sample answers can include the dimensions of a bookshelf, the height of a desk, perhaps the length or width of a chalkboard. These are all things that can be measured using the unit of meters. Measuring with meter stick. Measuring with the centimeter rulers when you are measuring something long is not as efficient as it could be. This is why we have meter sticks. They are longer than centimeter rulers and are more efficient when you want to measure something longer. Using a tape measure. Tape measures are measuring devices used to measure a variety of distances. There are two types of tape measures. This type of tape measure is made of metal. Builders and construction workers like to use this kind because it can be really short, like you see in the photograph, or it can be pulled out to measure longer objects. This type is made of cloth and is useful for measuring things that are curved or round. Tape measure. When we want to measure things that are round, we use a cloth measuring tape. First, make sure you know what unit you are using. This photograph shows measuring in inches. 
step two. Next, wrap it around what you are measuring. Carefully see where the end that represents zero is touching the measuring tape. In this case, the wrist is seven inches around. It should be noted that many cloth measuring tapes have centimeters on one side and inches on the other. What objects around the room could we measure with a tape measure? Some sample answers could be the distance around a globe, bookshelf dimensions, the height of the desk, or perhaps the length and width of a chalkboard. A tape measure can be used to measure both straight and curved surfaces. A seamstress will use a tape measure to measure a person he or she is making clothes for. Aside from measuring around the different parts of the body, they also need to measure how tall the person is. We can also use a tape measure to measure very long distances. Track and field officials will use a tape measure to measure distances objects get thrown or how far someone can jump. Athletes can also use them to determine where to start on the runway of their event.